you know, you, it just goes to show it's like you don't really know who's around you. People living in the Ave Maria community of Collier County say they had no idea a priest accused of sexually assaulting women live next door. U.S. Marshals arrested him at a home there today. Father Anthony Odeong is in custody on child pornography charges. All day, NBC2 has been digging into the priest's background. NBC2's Samantha Servan is in Ave Maria talking to neighbors and attorneys representing one of his accusers. His um, sexual advances um, that, um, you know, just continue to get worse and worse over time. Attorney Christopher King represents a Texas woman who says Father Anthony Odeong sexually assaulted her more than a decade ago. Odeong arrested here in southwest Florida today for child porn charges. He was dressed in his white robe. Saw four police officers rounding the side of his house. Um, one police officer with an AR pointing out the window and then probably like seven or eight other cop cars there. So he's he going. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Odeong moved here to Ave Maria after being let go from a Louisiana parish in December. Just three months later, Waco, Texas police say a woman stepped forward and told them what happened to her many years ago. To those survivors who I've already spoken to, I applaud your courage amidst having to relive your unspeakable experience. Since then, several more women are sharing their stories. Detective Bradley DeLay believes there are many more. I need to hear from you. You are not alone. And you do not have to continue to live with the trauma of this experience by yourself. Um, I think it's likely if you have, I think, what is it, four or five women now who have come forward, there's probably at least 50, I would say. Um, false allegations of sexual abuse are extremely rare, you know, and when you get more than one allegation, um, it's even less um, likely to be a false allegation. That's why King and his client are filing a civil lawsuit against Odeong for his abuse of power and trust. It can be very easy in that situation to not even know that you are a victim. When you are under someone's spiritual guidance and leadership, and then it begins to be manipulated and turns to a certain way, that can happen without you even knowing. You can be the frog in the pot. These victims now could be in Texas, Louisiana, Florida, and even beyond, because Odeong once worked with students at Baylor University. College students often just you know spread out from there that there could be um, victims all across the country. Um, by the time that, that we're able to reach this message of you know, hope for, for justice um, to everyone. King is also naming the Diocese of Austin in the civil suit for not taking prior allegations seriously enough. A statement from their office says they removed Odeong from ministry in 2012, and his Nigerian-based bishop called him back to Africa earlier this year. Now could he be removed from the clergy? Removing him as a priest, that has to go to Rome. I'm local in Ave Maria, Samantha Sorbin, NBC2. We also contacted the Archdiocese of Venice and Ave Maria University to ask if the priest had any ties. The college said he did not. The Archdiocese said he has never served in local churches and did not know he was in Ave Maria until today.